First, Governor Jay Inslee just announced the stay-at-home order is going to expire on Sunday. King 5's Drew Mickelson joining us live in Olympia with more on the governor's remarks this afternoon and what it means for reopening our economy. Drew. Well, Joyce, Governor Jay Inslee opened this afternoon's press conference saying that he had some really good news for us today. And while his stay-at-home order will expire technically on Sunday, the phase one and phase two restrictions will remain in place. However, the state is loosening up some of the rules to make it a little easier for businesses to reopen, even in our most populous counties. Take a look at the highlights from what we just had. Starting Monday, the state will enter what the governor is calling safe start Washington's phased reopening. Restrictions are being eased a bit. For example, for a county to move to phase two, they need to show that they've seen fewer than 25 new cases per 100,000 residents. That figure will be increased from the current level of 10 per 100,000. So counties like Pierce County would qualify under that figure and Snohomish and King County would be a lot closer. Also for counties that cannot move to phase two, the governor announced a new modified phase one, where with limits, places like retailers, hair and nail salons and restaurants with outdoor service would be allowed to open back up. One more change announced today. As of June 8th, the governor wants all workers in offices, factories and restaurants across the state to wear masks. We were on a kind of a lifeboat for a couple months of social distancing. We're now getting out of that lifeboat, but we got to get another lifeboat to get in, and that's going to call contact tracing and wearing masks in the light. We got to make sure that boat doesn't have holes in it. So what about counties like Thurston County, where we are right now, currently in phase two? When could they perhaps go to phase three? Well, the governor announced today that that application can't be made until the county has been in phase two for three weeks. But some of the counties got uh, that, that approval pretty early on. So as of next week, next Wednesday, several counties will be able to apply for phase three, which would allow events of up to 50 people. Uh, some restaurants uh, would, would be able to expand their services. Bars would be open back up at limited capacity, along with movie theaters as well. So a lot of folks will be looking forward to that, perhaps as soon as next week. Live in Olympia, I'm Drew Mickelson. Back to you. Hey, Drew, I know anytime we've seen some changes, there has been a lot of confusion from county to county. And if we talk more about the, the governor's new mask rule, we have seen those uh, directives issued in different counties. And, you know, we, we hear all, all the different rules and there doesn't seem to be much enforcement. Are there any hard and fast rules? Well, yes and no. So, so today he, he issued this, this order for the businesses. Employers are required to uh, provide masks for their employees, and those employees have to wear them, as I said, at restaurants, at factories, at office buildings, unless someone is working by themselves, they have to wear a mask. That is something that could be enforced uh, by, by the state's labor and industries uh, department. Also, businesses will have to post signs outside before they're allowed to open up under phase two that would say masks required. He made it clear, though, that store owners are not going to be required to kick anybody out who doesn't wear a mask. They can just re refuse service if they so choose. As far as an order for everyday citizens, it's a lot like what we've seen in King County here in Thurston County. It's strongly recommended. It's encouraged. We'd like you. We please. These are the kind of words that we keep hearing. The governor says he thinks that that approach is going to be better than, than having some strict enforcement where people might be out. Uh, issuing tickets and he said we're not going to put anybody in handcuffs because they're not wearing a mask. He hopes it, it, he called it a, a sign or a badge of compassion and commitment and he's hoping that, that, that people will follow the rules. And then Drew let's talk just very quickly about testing which is going to be key moving ahead. Where where are we did the governor say in terms of testing and having enough? Still still making progress, still still uh, getting better, but but not there yet. He said they're still uh, waiting for some of the supplies that are needed to do as many tests as they want. But at times we have been doing thousands of tests per day, tens of thousands of tests per day. And that's what's needed. He, he brought up the fact that that we know there are people who aren't showing any signs of the virus that still need to be tested because, uh, as you heard there, uh, the social distancing is being being lightened up. A lot more people are going to be out People want to get out, especially on a day like today, but they just need to be sure that they're safe. And that's that's one area of many that uh, they're still working hard on here.